All right, guys, here we are. So, uh, we are going to be talking about Han and the future of my stream, my channel, and my other things. A couple of days ago, I decided to have a Facebook live stream so you guys could ask me a little bit of questions about what's going on and what we're going to be doing. A little bit more background story. If you do want to watch that whole 45 minute stream, I'll post that in the link below. Now, to get things started, um, I'm sure you guys can already figure out what this is considering the recent videos on this channel. So I want to make a couple of things very, very clear. Um, number one is our main game from now and towards the future will be Dota 2. That is point number one. Uh, we will be playing about 80% Dota 2, 5% Han, and 15% other games, single player games and other things. Along with this, we'll be having a new schedule, because in the last year we haven't had a stream schedule at all, considering I've been too busy with the CEO job and other projects. But now we'll be having a new schedule that will actually follow. So that will be great. I'll be announcing that in a separate YouTube video. Now, to go towards the reasons of why, I'm going to be mentioning this in the beginning of the video, and then I'm going to go more in depth. The main reason as to why uh, we are changing is the fact that I can no longer make a living out of playing Han, uh, that period. So anyone out there who uh, has the capability of using math understands that if you're running a business, whatever that business may be, if it's selling flowers or whatever it is, then you're going to <laughs> want to make money to make a living. And uh, as you guys know, money has never been my main, uh, like, has never been the reason for me streaming, the reason for me YouTubing. I've never asked for donations and subscribers, and I never will. I don't want, I don't want it to be that way. I'm not going to sit here and be like, please donate so I can keep playing, or please donate here for this. Sometimes I'll make a goal saying, like, oh, yeah, $500 for a new webcam, you know. It's different, not the same. Uh, the point here is that I cannot make a living out of playing Han anymore at all. I, I mean, if I was full-time playing Han right now, I would barely be able to cover my rent and food. If I didn't do other things while per playing Han, I would not be able to stay in my condo and let alone live in Sweden. So that should give you a very clear view on how things are with my channel and my stream. Um, we barely make four digits in the U.S. We, we're not even close to making that, actually. Mm, but yeah, I don't really, I never talk about money when it comes to my stuff. But that's to put things in perspective. I believe it's necessary in this particular video. So, before I went to Sweden, I told you guys that we'll be playing 50% Han and we'll be playing 50% Dota. And at that time, that is 100% what I meant to say. That is 100% what I was planning on doing. However, being in Sweden and having 12 days completely offline, no YouTube, no Facebook, nothing, just completely and utterly having a vacation and being able to think and going over all the numbers, statistics, and analytics of everything that we are doing, it is simply not sustainable to even try and play Han 50%. If I ever want to continue being a content creator, which I really do, I've told you guys before, when you guys, what do you want to do in the future? Well, for the next five years, I know I want to do this with you guys, regardless if it's full-time, part-time, or whatever it is. I want to make content. I want to play for you guys, and I want to teach you and educate you on all things gaming. And whatever aspect that may be. Like now when I was in Sweden, I was uh, lecturing a, a Swedish school class on eSport. Now, some, like just being able to lecture and teach kids about the world of eSports in the future, to me, is amazing. Being able to influence young lives into a potential... Uh, Esport career or programming career, whatever it is in the technology business, is is very important, and and I, I was very honored to get that uh, get that uh, well being able to lecture the kids. That that was amazing, and I have more of that coming as well. Hopefully, I've been offered to lecture more, and I'm very excited to do so because I believe it's very important that kids these days at those ages, um, not in your young days, of course are able to really understand how, where the world is moving and the world is moving towards technology. A lot of jobs will be obsolete in the future. So it's important to understand in what direction the world is going. 
and how important technology, programming, and computer computers are. So I'm very excited to be able to do that. Um, now we got off topic. I wasn't even supposed to mention that, but that's the beauty of not having a script when you're talking, you know, personal stuff. Um, yeah. Anyway, so being in Sweden, I realized that if I keep doing 50-50, it's just not going to work. You know, if I want to keep doing this, if I want to keep being able to give you guys amazing content and find people to help me deliver you that amazing content, like Titus Wong, who's managing my YouTube channel and the new thumbnails and stuff we have, I need to move on. Um, I need to, we need to doing, do something else. And I believe that we're, I think I'm going to cover everything in this video. So number one here that you guys are coming into your head right now, but slapped, you said you will never play Dota. You hated Dota. I never said I would never play Dota. I said I never believed I would play Dota. I never had any plans of playing Dota. I really didn't. And that's the truth. And last time I played Dota was with these guys, my lovely Sync Esports team, Keizu and all of them before the Haxorin and the uh, Sibit team. I played Dota with them. They asked me to come with them to Dota 2 and I said no. All of them moved and well look at Keizu now. Uh, my point here is that at that time, Dota for me, it was just incredibly boring. It was just a slower, more dull, Han. It was slower, I didn't like the graphics, I didn't like the heroes, there was so much imbalance, and to me it just didn't make any sense. And I'm a person who cannot do something that I do not love or like. I'm very bad at doing things I do not enjoy. That's as simple as it is. So I didn't see a future for me there at all. Even though if I just sucked it up and I played competitive, I could have been a millionaire right now. You know, that's, that's the reality, but that's not how my life works. If I have the option of doing something I love over something that I hate but may make me more money, I'll choose the thing that I love. And that's how it is. So what has changed, you're asking now. Okay, slapped. So what has changed since then? Well, let me tell you. Dota now has talents. They now have shrines. They have tons of items that doesn't exist in Han whatsoever. And their map continuously changes. And they have four bounty runes. All of these things together makes Dota a completely different game than what it used to be. Am I lagging a little bit in my camera? I'm pretty sure I am. Let me just check that real quick. Okay, let me try again here. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see if the video is laggy after. But uh, <clears throat> it's a completely different game. And all of these changes actually makes the game enjoyable. I have legitimately enjoyed playing Dota, and it wasn't even planned. Just before Sweden, uh, my friend, Os Bangkok Hooker, the guy who runs his own show on the Discovery Channel, who I've been doing the podcast with, played a lot of Dota with, and chatted with, who, the guy you think is really funny in my videos, uh, he said that, well, dude, if you play two games of Dota with me, I'll play two games of Han for you. So we did, and that's when I saw all of these changes. So I was like, hmm, all right, I'll try a couple more games. So I played until... I was able to play every hero in the game. And then I started trying these heroes yeah, in Dota. And I, I tr got to play Earth Spirit and Jakiro and the, the new Monkey King. And then I just compared it to Han. You know, like Shell Shock and stuff like that. And, you know, Icor. My, my, the point I'm trying to make here is the recent heroes in Dota have been amazing. And the recent heroes in Han has not been so much. And I don't think there has been any innovation in Han in a long time where um, there has been like any massive changes or, or to, to the game, or like, like bounties or shrines or talents. That doesn't exist. And funny story, actually back in the days, uh, Frostburn wanted to make talents for Han, but all competitors, myself included, told them that they were stupid and that they should never do that. I severely regret me saying that now. Well, back then, and I think other competitors do as well. But, um, yeah, my point is, due to all these new things in Dota, the game is just completely new and fresh to me. It's just very, it's nice. It's a similar game to Han, albeit slower, and I still don't like the graphics. It has so many new features and items and heroes that I just think are awesome. Like, the Monkey King hero is great, and Earth Spirit is one of the most insane supports I've ever seen. It requires so much skill to play. So, overall, my point here is that, oh, that 
I am enjoying Dota 2. I legitimately am. And if you watch my videos in, on YouTube, I'm pretty sure you can see that as well. If you watch my Han videos the last six months, you'll see it. It's like two different people. It's like night and day. And these two personalities as well, because I took the time to watch some of my content in Sweden. And it's just very... There's such a big difference. You can't miss it. I mean, I can just see watching myself how I'm glowing playing a new game than I'm, I am playing Han. Now, this doesn't change my love for Han. I have been in Han since the 27th of July, 2009. And yes, I still remember that date every day where I played my first game. I played Bloodhunter on Valkyrie, for example. I was part of the beta scout forum, which was the super beta testers back in, this, uh, in the days. I've been, I was a super beta tester for four years. I've been a competitive player. I have been everything and achieved mostly everything there is to do in Han, and I've done everything in my power to help this game. You know, I've, I've done educationals, I've done in the mind of a pro, so I've tried to teach people that, I've done guides on the forums, now I did guides in the game recently. What I'm trying to say here is that I've done everything I can to make Han as great as possible, but sadly, it hasn't grown my channel, it hasn't grown my things, and it hasn't grown the game itself. And now it's at that point where I can't do it anymore, regardless. And I want you guys to know that I have done everything there is to do to make this game great again. And I've been here since the beginning trying to make the game great. There's tons of balance changes in the game that are all me. Not anymore, probably. But my point, I've probably gone over 200 changes into the game. I've been a, an, a very intimate part of, of Han. And Han will always be in my, well, in my, in my, in my heart. And I'm still going to keep playing it by the side every now and then. So there will still be Han content on YouTube. And I'll still be playing it on stream occasionally. But I just cannot do it full time or even 20% anymore. It just doesn't work. After all, once you get to that point where it's not possible anymore, you got to rethink and reconsider everything that you do. And I have. And here is where we stand. So first of all, I want to thank all of you who have supported me over all these years, and I 100% understand if you do not want to support me anymore, if you do not want to watch me play other games than Dota, and uh, yeah, I, I understand. I'm not going to get mad at you. I'm not going to say anything. All I'm going to say is that look at all the things I've done over the years, and I didn't leave for the money like most other competitors, and I didn't leave when I should have. Looking back at it, like imagine where I would be now if I left, but I have no regrets. I've evolved as a person and I've learned many many things and I've experienced many great things in my life and yeah no I have no regrets and I hope you guys ha don't have any regrets too for supporting me and I really hope you can see past this barrier and maybe give me a shot anyway even if you play Han maybe you'll actually enjoy my Dota 2 content maybe you won't at the end of the day if you do wish to unsubscribe after this video I understand you that's completely and utterly up to you I'm not going to sit here and beg you. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to say, make your own choice. If you cannot see past uh, the world of Han, then all right. All right, man. Thank you so much for supporting me over these last, I don't know how long I've been making content, five or six years, four years, six years, I think five. <laughs> then I thank you so much for that. Thank you, thank you, and thank you once again. I appreciate that so much. Now... I have talked about what we've been doing in Han. I've talked about we're going to have a schedule. I've talked about the fact that we're why I moved. Uh, I actually like Dota now, and uh, we can't keep playing Han anymore. And then I mentioned that we're going to play 80% Dota, 5% Han, and 15% other games. So, what is now in the future of Han and uh, oh, sorry, in the future of the stream and YouTube? So, if you only wanted to hear that I'm no longer playing Han, you can shut down the video here if you don't want to support me anymore. Uh, everything after this is all about um, what we're going to be doing in the future, and I hope you guys will be as excited as I am. It will also be to explain why I'm not going to pursue as much as I wanted to the variety streaming. I'm, gonna, I'm still going to be a variety streamer, but more so play, be playing the Dota way. Um, uh, and I'll explain why. So, yeah. Love you guys. If you do decide to shut down the video here, and thank you so much once again for supporting me over the years. Now, next on our agenda, what is up with the future? We are going to be doing a new stream schedule, and instead of doing what I've been doing my, yeah, well, the, the five years I've been streaming, where we have the same schedule every single day, 
I'm going to be making more of a schedule that is available to uh, um, Americans, Europeans, and Australians. So I'm actually going to make a schedule where different days it will be better for different countries to watch. Why? Because I've always had the same stream times. And some of my viewers have only been able to watch me on YouTube. And now that we're basically starting from the bottom, I mean, I expect a huge amount of subscriber drop on YouTube. Uh, my subscribers on Twitch have already gone down a lot. My viewers on Twitch have already gone down a lot. So we're technically restarting. And when we're doing this restart, I would like to help all of my people, all of my fans from different countries being able to watch me. So I'm thinking something like uh, it's going to be announced tomorrow, but we're just going to throw out here. So like Monday, I'm going to be starting my stream early. Then I'm going to have a two hour lunch break to go outside and do something. And then I'm going to stream for the Europeans. And then the next day we have the podcast. So then I'm not going to be streaming. I'm going to, you know, like go work out, gym or whatever. Have the podcast, which is in the normal times, uh, 7 to 9 Thai time. And then the next day we'll do a European stream. And then we'll do an Australia, yeah, etc. Um, so we're going to have different time zones of the stream. And I'm also going to take more of my health into, into the regard. Because before, you know, I could stream for 8 hours and not eat anything. Or I would stream for six hours and eat one hour while you guys were waiting for me on the stream and then I would stream another hour after dinner and then go to sleep. And that's not a very smart way of doing things. Instead, what I'm thinking is having a, a different schedule like, uh, so we stream in the morning after breakfast, obviously, and then we take a break for lunch and then I shut down my stream instead of leaving it on and then I come back for the dinner stream, for the evening and then after the stream I'll eat dinner and go to sleep. And then some days we'll do the old way where it's a perfect European stream and we'll just uh, stream all day and I'll eat before and after. Depending on the thing, we're going to stop doing these goddamn uh, dinner breaks and lunch breaks in the middle of the stream because it's terrible for the stream. I think it's better to just have an hour break here and a half an hour break here and we shut down the stream and we start again. I think it's a much easier way of doing things. So the schedule will be announced in a separate video tomorrow or if not tomorrow, the day after that. We'll see. I'm, all my employees are on vacation, so I'm pretty... I'm not really sure what's happening with the YouTube and scheduled videos and stuff like that, <laughs> but I'll find out. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we will have a new schedule. Now, why slapped? You just said you were going to be a variety streamer. Why are you going to mainly play in Dota 2? Uh, one second. Oh, I'm gonna just There we go. I'm gonna call back in a second. So why am I not going to be a variety streamer? So I was looking at my own content and I realized that I am not entertaining enough. I, I, I don't think I'm entertaining enough in games that doesn't require any analysis or strategic choices or technical this or strategic that. Something where I don't need to think. I am not incredibly entertaining. Take uh, Evil Within and Shadow of War, for example, right? There are a lot of, of uh, uh, scenes in those two videos where I'm really funny or where something funny happens or where I rage or where I do that. And all of those clips are great, but what about the rest of the 80% of the time? You guys can please comment below if you don't agree with me. The rest of the, the 80%, uh, sorry, the, the rest of the time, I'm not very entertaining, you know. Like, I, I'm mostly just answering comments in YouTube, I'm sorry, in Twitch, and, you know, being active that way. But if you look at other YouTubers and other streamers, they're actually generally entertaining at the same time. So when I went all, over all of this, I figured out that I personally think a format like the old PewDiePie would be a lot better for my character and my personality, where on YouTube we only upload highlights of the single player games, unless, they're, unless they fit my criteria. So like Until Dawn was the best game I've ever played in my life as a single player game, and it was the most successful game ever on all of my channels. And that was because everything was strategical and logical and you had small details there, small details there, shit that I'm good at. And I was very entertaining because of it. Um, where was I going with this? Right. So we're going to be doing like highlights instead of all the games that are not really my thing. So like Shadow of War I thought would be great, but it wasn't. And there are a lot of very funny moments like when I take on six captains and I manage to take them out and there is a like rage here and a good play here and a good play here. I think it's better to do all of our uh, playthroughs in that format, like Horizon Zero Dawn as well. So all the important story parts we'll keep in, of course, the story is important. And then funny moments and rage moments and good plays. So that's how I want to format our future content outside of Dota instead. Dota will be the same. 
but I will be doing Dota 2 videos uh, and other and Han videos even more professional. I have plans for that where we will add boxes of information when we're talking about certain things or maybe add information here and kill here like a more um, interactive video that gives you more information like the, our educational videos, right? When I talk about an item, it pops up right here in a little box explaining what it does. We're going to be doing that in all our future videos. Um, this will be starting in the new year in 2018 when I have a new full time employee as well uh, working with videos. So I'm very excited to talk about that. Uh, we have a, I have a lot of improvements to all of my content that is incoming. And I'm, I'm very excited to show you guys that. Um, so yeah, uh, I, my personal opinion is that all the single player playthroughs that doesn't require any massive thinking or logical or fits the criteria that I believe is where I'm most entertaining will be doing in highlights. All the other games that require a lot of logical thinking and where it, it's like my criteria, uh, we'll upload the full playthrough. Uh, Dota 2 will continue the same way, and once I get good enough, maybe I'll do educationals and In the Mind of a Pros again. And uh, we'll see where it goes. So yeah, uh, that is basically the Heroes of New Earth, Dota 2, and the future of my stream and my YouTube. And I am very excited to tell you this next step in, in my career. And I really, really hope that you guys decide to continue to support me and my content, even though I am no longer a full-time hot player. And I do hope you're as excited for these changes as I, as I am. Um, so yeah, once again, guys, thank you so much for listening to this video. Uh, I hope it was informative, and I hope you are, like I said, excited. And there is no script. I've just been talking. I figured that it would be more personal just talking to you guys um, and whatever is on my mind while still covering the main points. Uh, so I'll go over that one more time. Uh, so Han, Dota 2, uh, single-player games and videos, new schedule, possible lectures, and uh, yeah, that is what we've been going through, and that's what is the most important, and I hope you guys will like that. Uh, besides that, um, I will try and do some real-life content again, like vlogs or something. I'm going fishing soon with us um, here in Thailand, which will be awesome, and probably very hard and very scary, So, because we're going for some big fish. So maybe I can film that. We'll see. That would be great. Um, yeah, I'll try and do some more IRL content for you, um, but I, no promises. It depends on how much uh, time my other projects takes uh, for my time. But yeah, okay. So besides that, once again, love you guys. Thank you so much for allowing me to do what I do. And you guys are my number one priority and always have been and for as long as I can, always will be. So thank you once again and peace out. Hmm.